What's up, guys? So we are day three with uh, Dark and Light, and yes, it's taken us about two days to get into these servers, and uh, they've done a lot of updates. So day one, that first video that you saw was literally like the absolute worst ever. A lot of players couldn't get into the, the game at all. Uh, you join the servers, you click join, and then you just sit at the endless loading screen as it appeared. We uh, did that for about 45 to an hour. Loading, 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 crashing, loading, crashing, loading, crashing, nothing. Um, then, day two comes around and they fixed something, so we we're able to get in day two. But graphically, uh, it looks horrible. So, yeah, definitely does not look like the trailers made it out to be. Um, even on the, you know, the epic settings that people are running the game on occasionally. Some people, if you don't have the greatest computer in the world, uh, which you shouldn't necessarily need to have the greatest computer in the world to run this game, even on epic settings don't look as good as the trailers, which just really sucks. So, you got that, you got those issues. When we got in, so we're hoping that we actually get in here today, uh, to show you some gameplay footage. Uh, the game is very, very, very raw. Um, so again, I've never played a survival game like this. Um, never played anything like, you know, DayZ or Ark or those kind of games, uh, which are the survival style. And uh, I guess I was expecting more RPG than random, like, horrible animations to punch and gather harvest things. Um, so overall, I did say in the beginning that, you know, 25 bucks is really nothing. If you get a few hours of enjoyment out of it, great. Because, I mean, the way I look at it is you go to the movies uh, with, you know, a date, girlfriend, wife in my case. You spend $25 on the movies and that's two hours of enjoyment or displeasure, whatever kind of movie you're seeing. And yeah, you wasted 25 bucks right there. So if you can get more than a couple hours for $25 in a game, definitely worth it in my book. Because, hey, we all go to the movies, right? But... This was pretty bad, so I probably played about an hour of the game already, and then, um, you know, got endlessly slaughtered by this random monster that came around. I uh, can't figure out a lot of the systems as well, so they said that it was getting cold in the game, and um, I couldn't figure out how to make myself warmer. Um, I wasn't told anywhere in the tutorial, it doesn't seem like really people chat, the chat box... They have one, but there's very few player interactions chatting with other people. The only other people that I actually saw in game were just people sitting AFK. And I was able to punch one person down in the starting zone and kill him. Um, yeah, because he was just AFK. And I I guess I got killed AFK as well before. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's a thing. But uh, overall, the game is extremely rough. I highly do not recommend this game like right now. There's supposed to be a, uh, a beta for a different game, um, I forget the name of it, but the other game that looks supposedly good, we haven't tried that, it's supposed to be a beta going on this weekend, and it's a free beta, so all you gotta do is sign up on their website, um, Kingdom Unforged or something like that, so something like that, something Kingdom I believe, uh, so definitely try that game out, and if that game is playable, uh, maybe buy that one rather than this game, this game may have potential in the future, but right now, it is definitely not worth your time or your energy to try. And as you see, we're still stuck at this loading screen. Trying to load into the game once again. So yeah, so I know this is not what you wanted to see. But this is what you are actually going to get if you buy the game. Try and play the game. You're going to be sitting at these loading screens for a long time. And then you're also going to get random disconnects. And then you're going to lose your characters. And then you have to start all over. Like, it just, it's a really, really rough, you know, early access game. Um, a lot of people were taken back by how rough this is. This is bare bones early access. And so, what I've found out is, that, like, definitely they are going to work on this for about a year, is their, their time frame. Uh, the servers do have max about 70 players, but there are about 5,000 people playing this game or attempting to play this game right now. So, it is quite popular. Uh, we'll see how the population survives. They have done a lot of patches. Each day they've done several patches. So they are constantly working at trying to get this fixed and trying to make this playable for you guys. But as of right now, uh, this is July 22nd, I believe. Um, as of right now, Saturday, July 22nd, the game is not playable uh, by almost any means. So, I mean, unless you have a super, super high-end computer, which I see no reason why you'd want to play this game if you have a super, super high-end computer. But, hey, if you do and you want to, you should be able to run it. And maybe the loading screens are a little bit quicker than this. But, yeah, most likely you're going to be sitting at loading screens for 
five to ten to fifteen minutes long and maybe get in and then when you do get in uh, so I'm gonna cut to that right now we're gonna hopefully get in and then show some footage alright so loading screens finally done we finally got in you select a character you get to character creation so a decent amount of character creation process in there so let's just go random for now start game you see he's got some sick beards right there you save and unfortunately, I have yet to figure out how to actually keep your character alive. I mean, every time that you start the game. So this is now the third time that I've gone through that character creation process. Granted, I've tried a lot. It's not me not trying to get into the game and, and play the game. Uh, so three days now, I've probably tried to log in maybe about six to eight hours of this game. And uh, yeah, so this is this is what you see when you log in. So thankfully, it didn't take ten hours. Um, that actually was real time there only about 30 seconds, which is what it should be. So first you must learn to harvest uh, You need for nature to survive and you can see it's quite dark So um, this is the day and night system So it has day and night and it is quite quite dark. You can't see hardly anything which is good uh, Gonna require you to get orchards and things like that. So we have a cell right there things demolish if you left click your avatar does this little punch thing Let's I mean and then you can harvest things so there's that chat box right there. You got people in the ground right there. Uh, you got other players that are just AFK. You can go ahead and punch them. And smack them. You can see blood comes out of their arm. And you can eventually kill them. Um, you know. But literally, yes. This is players running around. And look, there's a, a bandit player. A level 9. So he's in red. And he is just looking to kill people, it looks like. We've also got more red names over there but yeah I mean they drop you in and be like go oh, harvest stuff and literally where do you harvest stuff it should be right in front of you right but it's like I don't see anywhere to harvest anything and it's quite dark so you know yeah you, uh, can't really figure out where to go here so extremely rough very very like Hey, what do I do? I have no clue ideas. Let's see. So you press O for task. Bring up the task skills, management, beastry. And I mean, the cool thing is that you can go around killing people. So that level 9 uh, red name player could come around and kill us. So even this person over here could kill us. They're doing something. Uh, we could, you know, kill them as well. They are harvesting, it looks like. And uh, we are still trying to harvest stuff because we have absolutely nothing and we can't see anything. Like, honestly, there needs to be some kind of tutorial or, you know, getting started. And so, like, I've been in here for a little bit. But when I first jumped in here, it was light and there was, uh, there were, like, plants and crops that you harvested right around the starting zone here. Um, so I think it was like right around here. Maybe someone has harvested all of them. So we just went around here punching this stuff, harvesting this stuff, and uh, see, so yeah, there's something here to harvest right here. So harvest right there. We can harvest. And we're not getting anything, but although it's showing us harvest. So maybe this plant, yeah, so this plant right here, we're going to be able to harvest and get some things. And so we're unlocking the harvesting achievement. So we're looking for more of these plants. And uh, thankfully, someone lit up a torch. So now we can start seeing things slightly. But yeah, there was very few tutorials or things telling you what to do. It's like, hey, go harvest stuff. But... I mean, literally, I had no clue at what harvesting was, and as you see, there was hardly anything here to harvest. So there's something to harvest again. I think that plant has just respawned. And yeah, I mean, if this is uh, your type of game, then yeah, go for it. It's definitely very laggy. They are doing updates constantly, though. So that is the plus. They know that the game is shit right now. The company definitely knows that the game is shit. No question about it. They're doing massive updates every day. And they're probably not sleeping whatsoever. But, you know, it has progress. 
has progression on its on its side. They are improving things. And I mean, it has some potential, I guess. You can see these are the graphics as well of the game. The day and night system, it's really, really dark at night. You can go over here and try and punch this dude and try and kill him. Maybe that will be fun. Or maybe he'll just like kill us. Looks like he's like auto running. Ooh, something over here. Oh, it looks like a dead body. Uh, unconscious, 77. Okay, so we can drag the body. What does that do? Drag the body? I mean, just look at the, the animations though, like, eh, I am stupid ogre, I do not know how to move. Look at my arms. Okay, so what are we doing here? And now he's gonna come stab us with the sword. Let's go punch him to death. Punch this dude to death. Look at that. So much fun. Honestly, right now this game is just it's not worth it, guys. If you if you bought it, I don't think you can get a refund. But um yeah. Look at that. The amazing dodge combat right there. Punch! Punch, little man! We're killing off this dude, hopefully. I don't even know where our HP gauge is. He's level 5, we're level 1. We're gonna kill him, guys. Oh, it's frozen. Did we die? Hold for more options on E. What is this doing? He's a bloody mess! And I don't know what's going on here, guys. We are punching him, and he is, like, smacking at the wall, it looks like. I don't see any blood on us. It's only his blood. How many punches can this guy take? Die! You are feeling fatigued. Take the rest because we punched this guy so many times. So we have to stop punching him because we're fatigued. And now he's going to run away. He's trying to slash us with the sword. Alright, let's punch him some more. Oh no, he's running away! And yeah, so the sound quality on this was really shitty as well. So there's really nothing I have to say that is positive about this game. And yes, I do know that the recording screen has slided over. I want to try and kill this dude before. Nope. And it looks like he committed suicide by falling off the cliff. Whee! Oh, we can swim. That's kind of cool. <laughs> So I guess maybe there is a redeeming quality. There is swimming in this game. All right, guys. So, um, yes, yeah, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away from this game right now. Dark and Light is definitely not a game that is playable. Not a fun environment right now. Yeah.